The subtle body, okay, subtle body, that's from here up to here. The subtle body is composed of the instruments of experience. The ten senses, the five pranas, physiological systems, mind, and intellect. He's going to leave ego out. That's called the subtle body. That's the instrument of experience. Now, is that conscious or is that not conscious? Is that matter or is that non matter? This is a good question here. Huh? Not conscious, correct. <laughs> it, but it's easy to be fooled. It looks like it's conscious. Well, isn't awareness shining through it? Yeah, awareness is shining on it. That's why it looks like it's conscious. You're going to see another verse here. It's a beautiful verse. Where we'll see. Wait, I can do it now. Shankar is walking along. This is the 8th century. And it's very, in rural India. It's like out here, 10 kilometers. He just comes across one of these villages. He's walking along. And he sees a blacksmith's hut. And the blacksmith is pumping the bellows with his foot. And there's a fire, and in the fire is an iron ball, round ball of iron, which he's, he's heating up so he can bang it with a hammer and make it into tools. But when, the, when Shankara walks by, he just sees this glowing iron ball. And it looks like that ball is alive. It looks like it's on fire. But actually, the ball isn't on fire at all. What's happening is, it's just inert. But the atoms, the fire atoms, are what? Penetrating and permeating the iron atoms, and they look like they're, they start to glow. The ball isn't on fire. It looks like it's on fire because it's borrowing the fire from what? It's borrowing the heat and the glow from the fire. So this thing looks like it's made out of, it looks like it's conscious. That's why we think when we're talking about our, our self, we think we're conscious. But in fact, it's just subtle matter. That's why it's called subtle body. This is gross matter, gross body, and this is subtle matter. And it's not conscious, but it seems to be conscious. It just reflects awareness. We call this pratibimba. Pratibimba means a reflection. And the example we've used many times is the moon and the sun. The source of light is the sun, but the moon has light. And you say, well, the moon is a light, but the moon is not a light of its own. It's borrowed only its light from the sun. The sun goes off and the moon goes dead. As soon as you take your t awareness away from the mind, the mind dies. When awareness folds back into itself and no longer illumines the mind, what? Mind dies. You go to sleep. That's called sleep. Mind goes boom. If it was conscious, that couldn't happen. But it's not conscious. 